What's new? Or actually, actually we can go ahead and introduce you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, tell us who you are. Hi, uh, my name is Peter. I work for Roland here, and welcome to the Frankfurt uh, booth, uh, where we are showing the version 2 of the Jupiter 80, as well as the new baby Jupiter, the Jupiter 50. Uh, what we have new in version 2 is uh, new ways of using effects in the Jupiter 80, so you can now select them, uh, use them serially, and even morph them into a parallel mode, so very complex uh, effect assignments are possible. We have totally new uh, banks of sounds also available. We have a total integration into Sonar uh, with an ACT plugin uh, built into the hardware as well as in the software uh, to support that. And uh, the most significant part is that we took a lot of effort listening to all the users and uh, uh, listening to what they wanted uh, them to have on the synth side. So we concentrated very hard on the synth and we developed uh, using uh, behavior modeling technology we developed uh, uh, four new low-pass filters, including very famous ones, which I am unfortunately in front I of can the say what they are. You, you, you can? You, you can. What, what, I can. You can. Okay. Okay. So, uh, but I mean, there is the, the famous Jupiter uh, uh, filter and a lot more, so you should check it out uh, in your store as soon as possible. Yeah. the filter modeling effects are uh, chained serially and which allow me to make like and even combine serial uh, uh, application of effects together with parallel so I still have an input bus before every effect allowing me to add other parcels of other tones or get into the chain of effects wherever I decide if I want my second tone not to get a in the delay, but only enter the chain at the modulation delay, uh, in this particular example, I can do that. And that's like the amazing something that you could only do on, a, on a, a software synthesizers, for example, where you have access to all the, those routings. So that's a very cool uh, feature where you can change these algorithms. And go from a very... And instead of a bit crusher, use a ring modulator to get that grain. And then, of course, in the engine, since all the the the, the so this is just a one part, one oscillator sound, um, having the wave shaper, uh, which allows me uh, to uh, change the the shape of the wave that I'm using now, uh, uh, this saw wave. Uh, uh, as you know, depending on the model of, 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 of analog device that you are trying to emulate, uh, these shapes of the, the waveforms, they will alter, they will be different, and the wave shaper, uh, shaper allows me to do a lot more tweaking uh, in that regard. Make it much more aggressive if I want to, or like more kind. And have that typical uh, bit crushing uh, can you show us actually that the so we get a lot more effects routing possibilities like people mm -hmm. might expect. We get yeah. all this new synthesizer modeling stuff, the, yeah. um, and then the the filter modeling, which is what we heard at the beginning. Yes. Can you show us some of that? Um, well, what those filter options look like? This is where you can see it much much clearer. So you have the the new filters one two three four. 
So we're looking at this new iPad integration. Yeah, this is totally so cool. Uh, in version 1.1 for the Jupiter 80, Roland already integrated the uh, uh, generic USB support, which uh, allows you to, without any MIDI uh, additional interface, uh, hook up your iPad or iPhone with a virtual synth or whatever, to hook it up to the Jupiter 80, and then you can select uh, which type of driver that you want to use. And, uh, now with version 2, we go even a step further uh, um, to introduce the uh, iPad editor for both uh, Jupiter 80 uh, and, um, I think my fingers are too greasy there, and the Jupiter 50, it's the same editor since it's the same engine, only there's half of the uh, amount of uh, synth engines that you can control since it only has half of it in the Jupiter 50. Right. So, um, um, So we, we still go. get a lot of this cool stuff, even on the, on the 50. Yeah, even on the 50. I mean, since you don't have the touch screen in the Jupiter 80, there's uh, but uh, like, uh, I think, uh, 12 or $1,300 uh, difference between the two models. Uh, uh, retail, I think, uh, yeah, the going price. Uh, so you do not have the touch screen on the Jupiter 50. So if you have an iPad, well, here you go. You have the possibility to use the iPad editor to do that you can do, uh, uh, yeah, and, and if so, and if we take a look at that, we see all these new filter modes and yeah, you filter, see all models. The filter modes. Not only that, also it's very easy. Like if you want to uh, uh, determine a thir certain uh, uh, oscillator, and you want, like for example, have it to attack the wavetable which is inside, and in the editor now I can select, like for example, let's see, I want to take a, a P5 saw. I wonder what, what brand that uh, oscillator would be from, but let's select it anyway, and if I would combine it, for example, with the new low-pass filter 4, I think that I would get very close to uh, a certain synthesizer from the past. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this, is, this, this is what it's all about.